hi welcome to another video and like in the previous video I I want to select one of the links shared here to uh, read it for you so um, I want to select um, this one it, it seems interesting uh, interesting article but it's not actually about um, it's not actually about psychology, so it's about the methodology of machine learning and it's about how you normalize data and I will shortly mention it, so I think the point of normalization is the reducing the skewness in the data and skewness is not something that you want your data to uh, you want you don't want your data to be skewed so that's why you should follow you should uh, try to uh, apply some strategies to reduce the skewness in in the data and here especially for machine learning it is necessary to um, normalize the data sometimes it may not really change the skewness but so it's not that hard so you can apply those per process steps to reduce the skewness and um, conduct your study and you can later after the uh, process so you can continue your uh, machine learning processes um, here Machine learning mod models learn a mapping from input variables to an output variable. So that's why scale of your data matters. The scale and distribution data draw drawn from the domain may be different for each variable. Input variables may have different units that in turn may mean the var var variables have different scales. Differences in the scales across input variables may increase the difficulty of the problem being modeled. Large input values, like spread of hundreds of thousands, can result in a model that learns large weight values. A model with large weight values is often unstable, and meaning that it may suffer from poor performance during learning and sensitivity to input values resulting in higher generalization error. So, to reduce the generalization error we have to apply the normalization so how we both normalization and standardization can be achieved using the scikit learning library so this is how they normalize here by using this application but that you actually don't need to calculate anything so so that I think the uh, variables all turn into a value between zero and one, and and if they're uh, high, if they're high values, they're higher in the scale, and you can actually observe it by applying this method here. So as you see, you can you can see this process here. So example of um, uh, normalization so here array there are variables defined and this these are the packages that you should uh, import and then after you uh, run run the so after you run it and then you can see that uh, scaled scaled one is uh, uh, printed and another one is data standardization so you can see here I think they they first print the old data and then they print the scaled one and standardization is also achieved like here 
define standard scaler and transform data and then print the scaled one similarly achieved the scaler is defined with fit on the whole data set and then used to create a transformed version of the data, data set with each column standardized independently so we can see that the mean value in each column is assigned a value of zero if present and the values are centered around zero with values both positive and negative so you can see both positive and negative okay so thanks for watching this video and you can find this article by searching this title and thanks for Jason Brownlee for this valuable article and I wish you have a beautiful day bye bye